Good morning. Uh, this is Pastor Pleasant uh, coming to you from the courtyard of of the school across the street from my church. I mean, Coldwater Elementary School, and we have actually agreed to do a project project here, and it's called uh, Project Eden or Paradise. What we're doing is taking this courtyard, which I'm going to show you here. Uh, we're taking this courtyard and we are actually transforming it. You know, they said that uh, we become a, a product of our environment and if the environment is blighted, then it blights our thinking and, and also our hope. But when you take something that's a blight and make it bright, uh, you can change people's hearts, you can change people's minds. Uh, as I said on yesterday, when I made a video, our first video of our first day of installation, I talked about how they said when the hospital, when, when patients are recovering, if they look at some beautiful landscaping, it causes them to recover faster than those who do not get to see beautiful landscaping. So I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of what we have here. I'm going to try to reverse this camera if I can. You may, I don't think I, I could do that here. So I'm just going to turn this camera around and just allow you to begin to see some of the things that we are doing. Um, we actually are in the installation phase. Tomorrow the children will be coming out and they're gonna put a border in, right? Where you see some of those lines on the side over there. They have these beautiful rocks that they painted maybe in an art class and each of them have positive words on these bricks or these little rocks, these stones. I've seen some that say the word faith, I've seen hope, I've seen love. Uh, but this is what we're doing. We're actually installing them. Today I'm getting the groundwork done for the walkway that we're gonna install. We're going to install some flagstone along with some granite rock uh, to make that beautiful there. But all the way around, we began to cut out all the trees and allow uh, and to put some dark mulch there. We're going to outline this yard with red mulch. And then we're going to actually put uh, some uh, dark oak mulch in here also. But this is just some of the work that's been done so far in two days now. The first day we did a clean up, but this is the second day of my installation and just been kind of working with what's got, what God has put in my head. And so when I go, I just kind of come out and let God give me what he wants me to install. And that's where these thoughts come from. Uh, it comes from him. And we're going to take this beautiful bush here. A young man looked at it yesterday and he said, wow, it looks like a heart that's around the base of it. And that's exactly what it is. We cut a heart in. And we're going to put some beautiful decorative, decorative rock in there. Yeah, man, we're going to make this place stand tall. We'll be putting some hostas in. We put some salva in today. Uh, but we're going to be putting in all types of uh, little nice plants, uh, low maintenance plants. Uh, but the teachers will be able to use this place for uh, some teaching and just have a place of uh, peace out here. Uh, at the end of, uh, of this walkway here, we're going to install some maiden grasses and some different grasses uh, that we could put in there along with some maybe some stellar lilies. Uh, but we're going to really turn this place out. Uh, we're looking forward uh, to just seeing the finished product. We're going to allow you to see that product uh, as we go day by day and work in this place. I noticed the turtles around here, they kind of really excited. They're kind of hanging out looking to see what we're doing to their place. Um, but we're going to do it from the bottom of my heart. We're going to make sure that we do this thing in excellence. And that's my desire to do, to do this uh, for the children because I believe that uh, part of the healing process for our children from this pandemic is looking at a beautiful, out, a, a beautiful courtyard right in the middle of their school. And every time they look at it, they're going to have warm feelings. I've seen some of the teachers coming by blowing kisses out here and waving and, and just happy to see what's going on. So we can see that people's moves are changing already. But when they see the finished product, I just believe they're going to be amazed at what's going to, what's going to be done over at this school. And just so you know this, we're doing this and no, no charge to them. We're just over here just trying to spread the love. You know, we're trying to spread some hope. Um, we are, if you want to get the help, you can donate. You can just cash up us. Uh, that's dollar sign, capital P, capital N, capital L. CC. You can actually also uh, go to Giblify New Life Christian Church. All of your gifts are, are, are tax deductible. We are a 501c3 operation and ministry. And this ministry here, uh, uh, um, be better better roles and better better things up ahead. Is that that's what we're trying to put out here? Uh, there, there's a there's a there's a brighter day. 
And that's what God has given me for a name, a brighter days up ahead. Rather than all of this dismal reporting on bad news, we're spreading some good news. Uh, we're changing people's hearts uh, one brick at a time, one, one rock at a time, one flower at a time, one plant at a time. We need some help. Uh, Walboard Nursery has agreed to donate some plants, some shrubs, and I'll be talking with Jack. They're located right up there on Lindbergh. If you go into Walboard Nursery, excellent service up there. I've been working with them for years with my company. Um, they Just tell them Pastor Pleasant sent you. Uh, and then also uh, my friend Frank with AAA Building Materials. If you need rock or stone, he will deliver. Uh, he's up on Chambers Road up there in, in the Spanish Lake area, right across Bell Fountain Road. Uh, but again, AAA Building Material uh, and then Walbart Nursery has agreed to help us. But you can also help also. Some people have already made some contributions. Uh, and we thank you for that, 10 20 $25. What you're doing is investing in our children. And I just believe this. When children see beauty, it does something on the inside of them. So please help us. And I'm thankful uh, to Dr. Matthew, uh, the principal over here at the school, and then also the assistant principal, Mrs. Higgins. Uh, they're wonderful people and the staff over here. They're just awesome people. And we thank God for these teachers because during the pandemic, they stood their ground and, and helped work with our children. Uh, we want to try to jump in and, and give back ourselves. As I said on yesterday, I served the uh, Emory UE Corporation for about uh, 20 years through my Pleasant View Landscaping. You see it on my shirt, Pleasant View Landscaping. It was an MBE certified business. Also, we, we uh, took care of Malincrop properties downtown. Uh, but I since sold all of that work and and I'm just giving back and, and just trying to bring a smile to someone's face. Or maybe who knows uh, these young men that, that we're working with, uh, we call them the crew. And, and, and I've been talking to a few of them, but we'll be able to get to work with them. They're doing some testing on this week. Hopefully next week I'll be able to just spend some time and just sow into their lives. You know, these young men have uh, great gifts and creativity in them. But it has to be brought out, and, and we're standing in line, the men of New Life Christian Church. I call them 3M, amen, men modeling manhood for our young men. But we also see our young girls over here, and they already pitching in too. So uh, we don't discriminate, but uh, I'm just going with one, what the assistant principal said. She said, we need some help with our boys, and that's exactly what we want to do. We want to help encourage our young men. So when you send a donation uh, to this project, just put Project Paradise, just for short, Project Paradise. We're giving a facelift to the court lord yard that really was blighted when I saw it, but I'm excited now because we're making a difference. We, we're letting the hands of God touch it, and, and it's going to be beautiful when we're done and the children have something to be proud of. Uh, so please, uh, cash shop us, dollar sign PNLCC, that's all caps. Or you can go to Gibblefy, New Life Christian Church, Florida, Missouri. Uh, YouTubers, help me out. Man, let's do this thing. We're doing it for our children. And my vision is uh, hopefully that we can go in every school um, in, in, in the North County area and, and just make a difference on the inside by, by giving it a facelift and giving people hope. Remember this, people in the hospital heal faster when they see a beautiful landscape than those that don't get to see it. So landscaping does make a difference. It speaks loud. And I noticed that one thing they've been saying about the pandemic is saying go green and get into blues and all that. Get outside and look at some flowers and it'll start making people feel bad, better. And I know that this will actually help people with this mental challenge that we have and uh, um, just feeling down and, and out. Uh, but we're, I'm up. I mean, I feel good in my spirit. So I'm trying to spread some love and hope. Help Pastor Pleasant. Help these men of God, amen, that are, that are working with us. And, and these teachers that are working to give these children a better and brighter future. This is uh, Pastor Pleasant signing off from Coldwater Elementary School, right across the street from New Life Christian Church on Wee Hop Road. Uh, and we're here to make a difference. You all help us out. God bless you all.